Welcome back to another unsolicited and unedicated football analysis with your friend David Valentin. This time we are going to be doing the national team. Uh, the United States national team is going to be facing Panama here in Orlando. Um, 7 p.m. is the expected kickoff time. Uh, interestingly, uh, Orlando City is going to be playing at the same time, uh, roughly before that in Portland. So as an Orlando City fan, it's going to be interesting knowing that our team is away, yet there's football here in Orlando. Um, Orlando and the national team have an uh, interesting uh, relationship as Exploria Stadium has become a place where um, all they know is victories, all they know is success. Uh, in the Russia cycle, or uh, here in Orlando, the national team had um, decisive victory over Panama. And in one of those things that I can only describe as the cruelty of and, and unpredictability of football, uh, Panama went on to the World Cup, while the United States, as we all know, was eliminated in Trinidad. Who would have thought that that night, those who were crying will do so later in joy uh, to see their team go on to the World Cup. And those who were celebrating will not celebrate anymore because they failed to make it to the World Cup. So with that said, um, I have only seen the national team once before on in a friendly here in Orlando a game that was a complete destruction of Trinidad, oddly enough, 6-0, uh, and uh, a game that where, after the second goal, people stopped cheering because it was such a demolition derby. So, um, this will be my first time watching the team uh, in a game that matters um, with um, a part of me is super excited about it. Also for me is the last time uh, that I'm gonna be able to watch the national team with my children being as young as they are. By the time the next cycle comes around, the next World Cup, they're going to be uh, young adults. So I really wanted to go, not only to check the boxes by saying, hey, I've been to a national team game with uh, my family, but also uh, to basically sort of say goodbye <laughs> to my kids' uh, childhoods as, uh, like I said, uh, now they're teens. By the next uh, World Cup, they're going to be uh, young adults. So um, I really wanted to do that. The game is completely sold out. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful day. It's nice and sunny right now. Um, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. Just perfect conditions, in my opinion. Uh, Exploria is one of those stadiums uh, that um, have been born in the modern era of the soccer-specific stadium. Most, uh, for a lot of people outside of the United States, they, they probably don't understand how critical this has been for the growth of the sport because for the first time we're seeing structures that are designed with football in mind. Uh, most of them are natural pitch, uh, not only that, they're very close to um, to the action. And Explorer has the particular uh, condition that the pitch is actually below street level. When you look at the stadium from the outside, it looks as is a structure of two stories, but when you go inside, you realize that the inner circle, uh, the lower tier around the pitch is, is actually uh, on the ground, so when you are on the pitch and you look up, uh, you just see this this massive humanity of people right on top of you. Uh, it's uh, it's intimidating. It's loud, and uh, I hope that the United States fans can uh, reap the rewards tonight. So, without any further ado, let's head out to the stadium. Let's see what the night has in store for us. Let's enjoy ourselves and uh, let's uh, let's enjoy watching great football, 
great American football. Let's go.
Champions. So the end result is a victory 5-1 uh, to the United States. Uh, Christian Pilsic with a hat trick. Uh, an electric night uh, down in Orlando. Uh, just go back from the game. And uh, I can tell you that it was uh, an emotional moment to, to be there uh, and, uh, and witness it all. Um, the, the United States goes down to Costa Rica this Wednesday to hopefully seal the deal. It appears that at this point it's, uh, it's a done deal. So with that said, uh, we'll see what football has in store for... Uh, this team that really all they want to do is prove that they belong and they want to go to the World Cup to prove that. Um, hopefully that will be the case. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you will give me a thumbs up, I will appreciate it. If you follow Orlando City and you would like to support me, this is the moment to do so. Thank you very much. Also, uh, if uh, you like Orlando City, I invite you to uh, follow uh, our podcast, Loud and Proud Orlando, live Monday nights, 8.30, with myself and my friend Luis Pineda. Uh, please like and subscribe on that channel. And also, we are on audio in every application where you usually consume your podcast. I can be found at... Florida underscore man 76 on Twitter. Thank you very much. See you guys later.